Hi everyone. I want to share some really important information with you about the Zika virus. And if you haven't heard by now, there are several cases in the United States uh, that have been reported in the past few days. Now, it's important to understand that this is very, very serious and everyone needs to be aware of this information. Now, all of this started with something that's called the Dengue Fever. And the Dengue Fever affects roughly 50 million people worldwide every year. And people in the United States started to become worried, and specifically in Key West, because the same mosquito that carries the Dengue Fever is prevalent in Key West. So uh, for years, they've been spraying them with pesticides. And now uh, there's six different pesticides that they spray them with. And these mosquitoes have built up a, re a resistance, and they are now um, completely resilient to four out of six of the pesticides that they're using to spray on them. So, the dengue fever typically affects the Caribbean and other parts of the world. Uh, it doesn't really affect the United States, um, but with what they call climate change and uh, everything that's going on in the world and the weather being the way that it is, it's kind of stirring things up and um, sweeping things around in different places. And one example of that is here in Florida, we had uh, three tornadoes in Southwest Florida last week. And now we see um, cases of the Zika virus here in Florida. And this is because uh, when the tornadoes happen and you have bad weather, it brings all of that over here and it's it brings the mosquitoes with it so this is why we're starting to see this here in the United States and it's just the beginning of it so a British company by the name of Oxitec had came out with this genetically modified mosquito and the whole intention of this and what they claim um, was to create this genetically modified mosquito that would mate with the female mosquito that carries the dengue fever. And they say that when their genetically modified mosquito mates with the female mosquito, that it kills uh, the offspring. Um, so the whole goal is to kill off the mosquito that's carrying the dengue fever. Now, what this genetically modified mosquito is actually made out of is frightening. It is made out of uh, proteins from the herpes simplex virus and the E. coli, bact the e. coli bacteria, as well as different genes from uh, cabbage and uh, coral. Okay, so when they created this mosquito with the intentions on um, killing off the other mosquitoes, this has never been done before, so they do not know what the outcome uh, is going to be. And, um, you know, when they did this, they didn't calculate, well, what if the mosquito bites a human? Because the scientist that created this genetically modified mosquito claims that the mosquito doesn't bite humans, that it only mates with the female mosquito, to kill off that species. But they cannot predict what will happen because this has never been done before. So what is the Zika virus? The Zika virus is actually classified as a mild case of the Dengue fever. So it's in the same family as the Dengue fever. And according to Wikipedia, the Zika virus is now a pandemic. Now, in the past three months in Brazil, there has been over 3,500 babies that have been born with cranial deformities, um, known as microcephalophy, and the um, important thing to know here is that um, there is no cure, there's no vaccine, there's nothing um, that can save you from this. So yesterday this article comes out um, and this company, Oxitec, um, says that they're uh, pretty much they're saying that they're going to be 
uh, like the, their GMO mosquitoes are going to be the savior to battling the Zika virus in Brazil. And evidently in 2015, as of April 2015, the Brazilian government had given them the green light to go ahead and release 25 million of these genetically modified mosquitoes um, in Brazil. And the article states that their first clinical trials started in April of 2015. But I did a little research and I found out that this same company, Oxitec, um, had already uh, let loose some genetically modified mosquitoes in Brazil in 2012. They also let loose 3.3 million of them in the Cayman Islands in 2012 as well. And one year ago, this company was trying to convince uh, Key West, Florida to um, use their genetically modified mosquitoes as well. And evidently people protested uh, against it. So this is a graph showing the number of cases um, of the cranial deformities, the babies that have been born in Brazil. And as you can see, the number of cases in 2015. And uh, keep in mind, like I just said, that the uh, these this company released these genetically modified mosquitoes in April of 2015. And then now we see the number of cases uh, is staggering. Now, Brazil reported that from October until now, October of 2015 until now, um, they've had 3,500 cases, and they are actually telling their people uh, and warning them against having children right now. They're actually telling people not to get pregnant. That's how serious this is. And now there's been seven cases so far here in the United States. I think the majority of them are in Florida. Uh, another one's in Illinois, uh, Hawaii, and uh, I think that's it. Now, uh, here's an example of the cranial deformities. Um, now, here's the problem and where it affects everyone. So, if you examine all the evidence, it would appear that these mad scientists um, pretty much created these GMO mosquitoes to combat the dengue fever. But the problem is, is in doing so, the, the mosquito has become resilient. And like many other... Um, to give you an example of different diseases, um, syphilis, for example, there are different strands of syphilis. And right now, I believe there's two strands in particular that is antibiotic resistant. So um, there's no cure, there's no antibiotic for it, uh, nothing that can help you. And what happens is uh, syphilis over time, when you use an antibiotic on it, then you're um, the population of people who are infected by it, eventually um, the uh, disease itself becomes stronger and uh, more resilient. So it then uh, gets to a point where it just becomes stronger and stronger. And, and the antibiotics that we have uh, today um, are not strong enough to fight it. So you end up with a disease that's more or that's worse than um, it was when it first started because it mutated. Now this can be the same with these genetically modified mosquitoes. When they place them everywhere, millions of them, mind you, when they put them everywhere, they did not expect them to bite people. Now, because they did not prepare for this scenario, it appears that um, because, like I've said, the Zika virus is just a different form of the Dengu fever. So it appears that the Zika virus is the, or this strand of the Zika virus that is affecting so many, I mean, you have to look at the number of 3,500 babies being born and uh, being affected by this in three month period. That is, um, that's an epidemic. And when you look at the timing of when they release these genetically modified mosquitoes, and now you see what's going on, um, it all starts to make sense. So what happens is 
the mosquito has created um, a worse disease than the dengue fever, which is what's going on now, the Zika virus. And just like uh, the dengue fever, there is no cure. And this appears to be much worse than the dengue fever. If you look at the amount of people that it's affecting in such a small amount of time. So with people already being infected, um, this is something that can very, very easily spread very rapidly, um, quicker than people can even realize. And uh, it's something that we all need to be aware of, considering the fact that the only thing that you can do to prevent yourself from being in this situation is to not get bit by a mosquito. And that can be very hard depending on where you live. So we need to be very, very cautious of this um, and protect ourselves, protect our children, um, and just be aware of this. And there's definitely something fishy about this company publicly saying that they're going to begin trials in Brazil in April of 2015 when um, it's evident that they have already let loose these mosquitoes in 2012 in Brazil. So um, there's something very fishy about that. And um, like I said uh, many times before, if you do some research on different diseases uh, and things that were created in labs by the United States government and by the British government, um, you'll see that many things from herpes to syphilis to AIDS to um, many, many other uh, things that human population has had to deal with have all been created by the government. And once they were created by the government, they were then tested on the unsuspecting, unknowing human populations of people. So it seems like this is their latest depopulation project, and um, it could prove to be one of the most deadly. As we know, mosquitoes travel, and right now uh, we have millions upon millions of genetically modified mosquitoes flying around right now, and the government's trying to convince you that they're going to help the situation with disease, but it's evident that we see the diseases that uh, have been created over the past few months and the things that's going on in Brazil and has now reached the United States. Um, so it's definitely something we need to be aware of and definitely be cautious of. Um, I guess that's it. God bless you all and stay safe.